Hi, I'm George Latimer, and I'm back to read you another story. This one is a little silly, but we can all be silly from time to time. This is called Dinosaurs Love Underpants. And we hope that you're taking time while you're home to read with your parents or with your other relatives and uh, enjoy some of this and to learn to read, to read them for yourself, look at the pictures and enjoy the words. Dinosaurs were all wiped out a long way back in history. No one knows quite how or why. Now this book solves the mystery. It all began when cavemen felt embarrassed in the nude, so someone dreamed up underpants to stop them from looking crude. The dinosaurs roamed everywhere, all teeth and huge long necks, but scariest and meanest was Tyrannosaurus rex. When T-Rex saw man's undies, he roared with deafening rants. I don't want to eat you up. I want your underpants. T-Rex stole a furry pair, but his briefs quickly ripped. He couldn't get them past his feet. Oh, whoops, watch out, he tripped. Triceratops was happy, wearing undies on every horn, till Styrococosaurus snatched them and they ended up all torn. The pants from woolly mammoth coats made Stegosaurus itchy. Diplodocus was really mad. His briefs were way too pinchy. We're running low on underpants. The cavemen quaked in shock. These dinos are undies crazy. They've completely run amok. Soon undies were flying everywhere, all torn by tooth and claw. The dinosaurs were fighting in great brief tugs of war. The mighty underpants war raged all night. Thump, pow, bash, thwack, clout. The fighting got so crazy, all the dinosaurs were wiped out. The next day out, the caveman crept and cheered at what they saw. Hooray, our biggest enemy is now at last no more. So when you put your undies on, always treat them with great care. Don't forget, brief save mankind. They're not just underwear. That's a silly story, but it's a fun story. And you should laugh, enjoy the time with your family, enjoy the time with each other, and read. That's the best way to make the time go by. I'm George Latimer. Have a good day.